Hey guys, Fishy Baker here. Today I am river fishing with my friend Jim and we went out yesterday and absolutely crushed the smallmouth. But what we're doing right now is we are just catching the bait. And this is a pretty good one. Nice. Well, I'm not gonna show them to you now. But... Oh, and there he goes, okay. Well, that's what you can't have happen. So I'm not gonna show you, show you any more of the bait, but basically, we have a 1 32nd ounce jig head on right now, tipped with a little piece of crawler, and we're uh, we're just catching the bait, which consists of creek chubs, um, darters, little shiners. Um, they can be big or small, in that three to five inch range. And then we are going to use those to catch some just tanker smallmouth. Crushed them yesterday. A lot of fish in the 17 to 19 inch range. The quality was just incredible. That is a perfect creek chub. Is it really? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> now, that doesn't happen often. How often do you see a pipe jump out of that? Not too often. Hmm. Nice little pike to start out the day. Got him? Oh yeah, it is. That's what, what that bigger weight, isn't it? Uh, just a slightly bigger weight. I had a really small one in there. It's good. I thought it was bigger. There's Jim with bass number one. It's actually kind of small, but not bad. We'll take it. You going? Wouldn't be surprised if there's not another one. I, what I did is I pitched it over there, then I just let it kind of hang in the current. Oh, that's a tank. It's got to be close to three. Two thirteen. Just under. Seems a football though. Yeah. Yeah, look at the belly on that thing. It's definitely eating. Yeah. I didn't even know I had one. Pike maybe? Not really fighting like a bass. Oh no, it's a small one. I just kind of noticed it wasn't like 
going with the current so i reeled up on it thinking i would just pull it out of the weed and all of a sudden the weed gave me a few head shakes <laughs> wow this thing is fighting crazy hard yeah he gets in that little current yeah You got one? Yeah. We are doubled up. Oh, you got the sucker. No. Oh, yeah, this is the sucker. Yep. For a minute, I thought it was small. Yeah, this, it's, a minute, it's not one of the big ones either. Really? Yeah. Well, we are doubled up. <laughs> Very nice smallie for me and a big sucker for Jim. <laughs> All right, let me take a picture. Beautiful colors on this one. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's get a rough measurement. 18 and a half. Yeah, probably around three. Gorgeous fish. Nice. Right. <laughs> okay. Jim just got this really nice bass, three and three quarters. I'm gonna let this big beautiful fish go. Wow, that's a tank. There, I got one. I do too. He's running way upstream with it. Let it go. Yeah, pretty good. Just came right in, quite honestly. Not bad. Not bad at all. Man, it's a pretty fish. Yeah, it is. Nice golden colors, this one. Seems like they're a lot lighter up here than the ones down by the rocks. Mm -hmm. That thing came right in. He didn't fight at all. <laughs> it was like a 10 second fight. Yeah, that's weird. Nathan's first smallie, he just came out here. He got two pretty nice sized pike. These river smallies fight so hard. Maybe tighten up that drag just a tiny bit. There you go, you got him out of that main current. That was the issue. Wow! That's three instant bites out of there. Yeah. Two pike and a smallie. I asked Jim before if, since there's pike there, smallies kind of hang out with them, and he said he honestly hasn't noticed a difference. Like, there'll still be smallmouth in there, even though there's pike there, too. This thing is fighting, man. Dude, this thing is not even, like, that big, but, like, it's fighting like a tank. This is a PB, for sure. Nathan's PB is 2-4. We gotta chase him. Wow, nothing wrong with that one, though. Holy cow. Here. Oh, yeah, dude, that's a freaking good one. Oh, you snagged him. I snagged him. What? No, nah, he, he swiped at it. It's through, it's like right here. It's underneath his fin. Oh, yeah. So he ate the sucker and the hook must have ripped through the sucker and got him in the, in the fin. Here is Nathan's bass. Sorry, camera's kind of tilted here. But that is just a gorgeous fish. After bowling six games, throwing a 15 pound ball, my arm is so tired. It's got a, that's all a two and a half pounds. That's your, that's your PB. Yeah. I can tell you it's 
probably two and three quarters. Beautiful fish for nice, nice one. Awesome colors on that. All right, let's let them go right here. One last look at this awesome looking fish. That's probably three pounds, dude. I don't know. Grab that rod. Let's yeah, let's let's oh, measure yeah. it. Yeah, I mean that's an 18. 18 and a half inch fish. That's a three pounder. <laughs> three pound smallie for Nathan. His first one while out here. There he goes. Three pounder, there we go. Ooh. First bass is a PB for Nathan. Face is all jacked up. Yeah, that's a nice fish. yeah, it is. His face is all weird, though. Oh yeah, he's probably been flat. But still a nice fish. There we go. Doubled up. What do you have? That looks like a bass. Pretty good one too. <laughs> Really? There you go. You got him. You got. You got him coming. Oh my gosh, he's huge! I see him eat it. There's two of them. Yep, there's two of them. <laughs> We're tripled up. Two smallies and a pike. Oh, that was cool. I could see him like trying to pick it off the bottom. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Can you me? Yeah. Are you struggling down there, Nathan? So this bass followed up Jim's fish, and I hooked this one. Meanwhile, Nathan has a pesky little pike on that he can't quite seem to get a handle on. Here's our fish, right about the same size. Beautiful fish, tripled up, and here's Nathan with his pike. Nice. Give yourself a little bit of line so you can tuck it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here is Nathan with his smallie. Probably around a two pound mark or so. Maybe a little bit less. That's a beautiful fish. Two pounds. Yeah. Nice.